Minus Dose 006, we're back for part 31 of Pokemon Ash Grey. Last time, I'm pleased to say, made a bit more progress, having got bogged down in the uh, cave and <laughs> getting, getting between uh, uh, Viridian and Cerulean and Viridian City and Cerulean City. But um, yeah, we got through uh, five episodes of the anime last time around, um, from starting off with Misty Mermaid and ending with the Showdown at Poke Corral. And uh, yeah, the end of that episode, we ended up um, getting some advice from Professor Oak to go and uh, to go to the Sifo Mines, I think it was, to um, visit Professor Westwood, who is going to, to learn about uh, evolution. So um, yeah, let's go do that. So we'll get on our raft. We've got, we've got some uh, trainers, um, obviously, in this um, Pallet River. I think it was. I think it was dubbed. So um, yeah, we'll have some bad. We're we'll gonna have some uh, trainer battles along the way. Fantastic. Okay, and they're pretty decent. Uh, and I forgot to switch out uh, Bulbasaur. I suppose it's better than having Squirtle out here first off, because the Bulbasaur will at least do a good job. But um. Yeah. In fact, I think what I might do... Wow, okay. Yeah, okay, I will... I'll get... Because I think Pidgeotto's at 53, if I remember correctly. So, I'd like to get... If I can get... Uh, okay, that's generous of you, given that I'm about to cream you. <laughs> I'll get Bulbasaur to 53, and then I'll say no Pidgeotto, and then I will switch to Squirtle. But, um, yeah, I'll keep Bulbasaur, actually, uh, initially, given that we're going to be fighting, yeah, a whole bunch of... Um, like water Pokemon, so uh, yeah. Well, in fact, given how given how close this this comes, I might even do that. No, no, because he won't get. It's not an XP. It's not an XP all, is it? It's an XP share. So if I don't use him, he won't get any XP. He won't get the experience. So uh, yeah, fine. We'll uh, we'll leave Bulbasaur on until he gets to 53, and then we'll put Squirtle, or we'll put Pikachu into Bat, but we'll put the XP share on the on 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 the on Squirtle. In fact, it's probably a, probably should have put put it on Squirtle right now, frankly. But oh well. Okay, so we've got fishermen and uh, and swimmers to deal with. Well, I guess I don't. Fisherman ship, really? <laughs> okay. In fact, yeah, I think Bulbasaur, if Bulbasaur has got the XP share on, which I think he has, let's switch out to Pikachu now, actually. Yeah, he's got the, uh, he's got the XP share, so I'm assuming that this, that this, uh, Pikachu, or the, ex the experience he'll, yeah, the, ex the experience share he'll get from this, rather than the experience, per se, will be the one, um, from actually doing the fighting, will be enough to get to level 53. So we'll put Pikachu in the back, and we'll get Pikachu up. Some more, and uh, wow, okay, that didn't take out the that didn't take out the tentacle. Well, I don't then think. I know that's not going to be very effective, but come on, should still do that, surely. Nope, unbelievable. I mean, a good thing you've used barrier, but um, wow, really? You're not the uber tentacle I met earlier on in this game. That's just got that's just ridiculously overpowered, but um. All right, fine. Still can't believe that brick break didn't take it out, but no well. Yeah, Fisherman Chip, what a name. <laughs> Cancel the evolution. And we'll switch things up. So uh, let's get Pikachu out in front. No. <laughs> And let's take this experience share and give it to Squirtle. Yes, so could you return Bulbasaur now 53? So my Pokemon are coming on quite nicely, to say other than Charizard, but I'm sort of deliberately just, uh, yeah, not really uh, spending too much time with Charizard. Yeah, cool. <laughs> Just let you come to me rather than me go to you. Um, yeah, other than Charizard, because I say he's still he's still being a uh, likely to be an uncooperative jerk. So um, yeah, what's the point? I think by the yeah, as I said before, I think by the time that this is slightly worrying because um, yeah, your speed's probably quite good. Although Pikachu's speed's also very good. But so uh, yeah, by the time I think Charizard's going to come around and actually start obeying me and being useful, I think we're probably going to be done. <laughs> well, we wouldn't have much left if, if if this if this goes as far as I think it does. 
Oh, okay, immediately squirt to level 50. Okay, that's nice. I wasn't expecting that. Obviously, it wasn't like 49, just got to 49 previously. Another revolution to cancel. But... Well, this is a really nice place just to get. I mean, I'm getting lots of experience, obviously. I mean, you know, getting a thousand, you know, I think it was about, was that 1,600 or so just for knocking out one Pokemon? Admittedly, star, level 50 Starmie is probably, uh, you, know, get, you know, probably quite a good Pokemon, but still, that's, uh, you know, I'm taking it out in one hit and I am absolutely, you know, I'm getting, well, yeah, over one and a half thousand. Uh, experience points just for defeating one Pokemon that I have a clear type advantage against as well. Yeah, should be getting lots and lots of experience. This would be a. Uh, I'm almost disappointed there aren't more traders. <laughs> There's still more traders, swimmers, and fishermen in this area because this would be a this would be a fantastic place to just uh, yeah really rack up the experience points. Again, nice. Hoping at some point I can, yeah, heal and such like that, but or not or replenish my moves, should we say, rather than heal. Although a Pikachu has taken some damage. Cool. Speed goes up again. By the most, I think. Yeah, we'd love to see his defense rise a bit more. I think that's his one significant weakness at the moment. Everything else, everything else was uh, was uh, really nice. Right, I see. Yep. Nope. We still got more. Okay. This. Uh... Okay, you've got. Okay, well, I'm, I'm fine with giving bird Pokemon as well rather than water. <laughs> That'll do me fine as well. Um, oh, only one of them as well. Um, perhaps this goes on a bit further to the right than I uh, originally gave it credit for. Of course, it's looking like a fairly short section as well. Well, maybe it still is, I don't know. Obviously, I've only been going a few minutes, but um, yeah. Yeah, also, I have, yeah, I have no problem if you want to substitute uh, a <laughs> bird for water. <laughs> Or water for bird, sorry. Take you out just as nicely with my Pikachu. Okay, yeah, we look like we've reached somewhere as well, so this looks like the last trainer over here. Okay, water flying. I... Yep. <laughs> Even better in some respects. Particularly since I'd imagine you know, there's a very high level Gyarados, so you should get a crap ton of experience for this. Wow, no much more than the Starmie, I don't think, actually, amazingly enough. Well, I'm fine with you having two of them, although my attack is going down, obviously. Still, four times, four times effective than, yeah. And 11 levels higher. I think two Intimidate shouldn't really do too much. And okay, yes, we've reached our destination. There is the uh, Slowpoke. No, it is not. There is the Slowbro, sorry. <laughs> Uh, and uh, yeah, so we've uh, crossed it across the uh, the, the the ocean into. Oh no, no, I can't heal from that. What am I talking about? Is this a computer? Yeah, it's okay. So that's the regular one. What's that one? Okay, let's do that usual thing about complicated words and numbers. Blah, blah, blah. Friends of Professor Oak, eh? Please don't call me Professor. It's much too formal. My friends and associates all call me Westwood the Fifth, fifth generation Westwood. So you can see that I come from a long line of Pokemon researchers. Solving a real-life mystery, I want to discover why a shoulder attaches to Slowpoke to cause it to evolve into Slowbro. And I've had that—I have had that round all the wrong way. Wow! Just, I'm, I'm actually—that's ter that's terrible on my part. <laughs> May have seen it fishing on the beach. Yes, if I can understand why Slowpoke evolved into Slowbro, I'll have earned the right to call myself a Westwood. Okay, is that? Sure, I can understand the mystery of Slowpoke. If I could just witness it firsthand, if I haven't a shoulder, would have to be introduced to my Slowpoke. Okay. So does one just happen to be scuffling around on the beach, or what?
Okay, well I've interrupted its fishing time anyway. Do I have to fish for one or find one or something? Can I even fish for one? We've got the super rod from Misty, didn't we? Okay, no. Am I just in the wrong place or can I do it from here? No, I do not want to use the raft. Okay, I can use it there. Okay, it was just the cliff face where I couldn't use the rod. Okay, well we caught something. Is it a claw? Is it a? Uh, is it a claw? Is that? No, it's not. Crabby. Okay. I might. I don't know. Muck around for a couple of minutes or so, and if I don't get one, move on. I guess. I don't know. I feel like I'd like to do this, but I mean, if I'm not going to fish one up, then it's going to be a bit difficult, really, isn't it? No, I don't want to use the raft. I should maybe try and you know, register the super rod or something. Okay, well, there doesn't seem to be any problem. Let's just leave it for now. Oh, it is okay. There is a cloister. Okay, I actually need to catch it, don't I? Well, okay, that could be a bit of a thing. How many Pokeballs have I got? Oh, okay, 25. I could start shucking them just now. I know it's probably not the thing to do when it's still at uh, reasonable health, but um, go on, please get it. That will do nicely, thank you. Did I buy all those Pokeballs or did I get given them? Because I wouldn't have thought I would be doing much um, a catching of Pokemon, to be honest. No, I'm not going to bother giving a nickname. So, okay, let's return to Professor... No, to, not Professor, to Westwood and give him the, uh, give him the shelter. Okay. So, I don't... Okay, maybe I give it to... Maybe I give it to the Slowpoke? Yes, okay. Fine. Oops. Oh, it's carrying something. What is that carrying? Wait, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's, we'll, we'll do that in a minute. I want to see what it's carrying. <laughs> Might as well uh, take the item, I suppose. Was it a, just a pearl it was carrying? Well, I might as well have the pearl, I suppose. Yeah, I'll have the pearl. Now we're all these shelter. Instantly clamped on the Slowpoke's tail. Amazing. Slowpoke and Shelter evolved into Slowbro. Wonderful. Let's go talk with you again. See if you have anything to say about that now. Or you think you'll give me a reward for doing it. <laughs> Ash, I saw the whole incident from my window. Slowpoke evolved into Slowbro when you introduced Shelter to it. Seeing it in person made me understand so much more clearly. The reason Sheldon and Slowpoke bond with each other is because it's mutually beneficial. It allows Slowpoke to stand upright and use powerful moves like the Mega Punch, and it allows Sheldon to travel on land. Thank you, Ash, this is a monumental discovery. As my thanks, please have this rare scale. Okay, got a heart scale. I don't anticipate I'm going to come, I'm coming across a move rem reminder, restorer. What the hell is it? Move deleter and a move. Restorer, whatever it is, whatever it is. <laughs> oh, this is just, okay, that's just a sign place for the Seafoam Islands. And, um, well, we're getting into the next episode, I guess, but we'll go into the uh, hut first off before we interact with the Pikachu. And indeed, there's no one there. Okay. Yeah, anyway, where did I... Yeah, I don't, I don't recall buying all those Pokeballs. Was I get, did I get given them or something? <laughs> I don't know, I can't remember. Oh, okay. There's nothing to do with the Pikachu. Okay, it's just sort of sitting there. Okay. Well, I guess we can move on then. I'm sort of expecting to meet someone, possibly. The Pikahuna? Uh, is that what was supposed to happen? <laughs> Could have I avoided that? I don't know. Yeah, I'm expecting this to be the Pikahuna episode. So, um, yeah, no, this is yeah, this is the guy who's got the uh, yeah surfing Pikachu who wants to plant a, plant a flag on a what, rock island or something. I saw you struggling in harsh ways. So I rushed out on my surfboard to help you. Thank Pikachu Puka. 
who retained anything in the sea. I found it afloat on a piece of wood, and from that day on, Pook and I have never been apart. Since when a big wave headed our way, the last 20 years we've surfed every big wave that's come our way, but we're waiting for the big wave, Humunga Dunga, which is a phrase I never ever thought I'd have to say. It only comes once every 20 years, when I was just a... How does a, how does a wave come into being or form a, a twi in, a, in, a, in a cycle like that? I can understand just waves have cycles much like that but you can't put a, you can't put a time frame on it to say oh they only come around once every 20 years that's ridiculous so yeah you're trying to emulate someone that you saw who surfed a humungadunga and planted a flag on a rock pile and yeah you're trying to emulate him but hungamunga hungamunga deep beat you and it was the biggest disappointment of your life Puka and I have teamed up and conquered every type of wave you can imagine, apart from one, the Munga Dunga. Okay. And apparently we just happen to have stumbled across that one in a 20 year period where it just so happens to be taking place. Okay, this is the cutscene, I'm not doing anything with this. Okay, and there's the flag at the top. And there's his flag. Yay, he did it. <laughs> Fantastic. Are you fin you are finished. Okay, wonderful. Do I get any do you get you gonna give me anything for watching that? <laughs> oh how was it oh, how's about a battle? See how still a trainer you are. Uh, alright, fine. How high level is this thing gonna be? Sixty? Wow, that might be one of the first times I've come up against a Pokemon where I'm actually at a disadvantage. I'm pleased to see that I do have uh, the, the, the speed advantage by the look of it. I'm slightly nervous about using deep because I may well end up getting paralysed. But we've taken him out. If that Pikachu you had static at this ability. And that was a piddly little amount for defeating a level 60 Pokemon. Jeez! Are you kidding me? Wow! And, okay, you're not going to give me anything. Fine. Well, wow, I did not mean to do that. <laughs> well, I guess we shouldn't expect something from everybody. I guess he's, uh, I guess he's being very encouraging towards us, so uh, I guess that will have to do. <laughs> okay, fine. That's uh, another episode chalked off the list. Let's move on. Any more trainers around here? No, but we're still encountering Pokemon. Pretty low level ones. Well, in comparison to what I'm at. <laughs> okay. Oh, there's the. I didn't realise we had to go past that. Yeah, of course, there's the, there's the little uh, rock plinth or whatever it is with the flags on top. Alright, since you've bothered to actually disturb me, you can get knocked out. Not that it's going to do me much good in return, but uh, 100 is actually slightly more than I was expecting. <laughs> Ow! Okay, 31, that's, uh, that's worth doing. Squirtle's got up to 51. Not the best stat increase, unfortunately. I'm going to speed up the cancel evolution again, actually, just because I can. Why not? Okay. Well, I think the next episode is... Um... Oh, we're just doing uh, trader encounters. I think the next episode is uh, make room for gloom. So, um... so we're uh, heading toward that, but who knows how long a stretch we've got uh, until we get there. You look like someone from Team Aqua. Am I going crazy? Is that not the Team Aqua symbol on his bandana? You look like someone I would I would encounter in Team Aqua. 
Oh wow. Um. Okay. I'm gonna get Pikachu the hell out of there. Yeah, I'll put Bulbasaur in, I guess. Squirtle's gonna get the experience share as well anyway, so I guess I'll put Bulbasaur in. And only a two-time hit. That's um that's amazing. <laughs> okay, cool, fine with that as well. How many of each one have I got? I've only got five Giga Drains. Alright, well I'm not gonna waste a Giga Drain at the moment now. Then. I thought I might as well try perhaps try and replenish health, but I don't know if it's not worth it if I've only got five Giga Drains to play around with. Okay, well now I need to get you out of there. And probably put Pikachu back in. Or we'll go with Pidgeotto actually. Yeah, good. I think that was probably the right decision. <laughs> Bulbasaur. I'm at least happy that, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm obviously keeping Pokemon that are, that are what, you know, who, who Ash, has got, or Ash obviously has in his party in the, in the anime, but um, I'm pleased that we've sort of got a, a fairly decent set of kind of Pokemon and with indeed moves at my disposal that I'm, you know, I'm reasonably good against most uh, you know, Pokemon that I'm going to encounter. Obviously, there'll still be some that are going to cause um, some problems, but um, yeah, I've got I've got fairly decent matchups against against you know a lot of different types. And have even more if uh, if Charizard wasn't it wasn't uh, incredibly uncooperative. But oh well. Nope, I'm fine with that. Cool. We came through that uh, encounter with five against five Pokemon pretty un, pretty much unscathed, so that was nice. I think Bulbasaur took a tiny bit of damage from Donphan, but other than that, I think we were all good. Uh, what? Dragonite has something. It's a video hologram message of a young woman. She's beginning to. This isn't the movie, then, is it? Chosen to join a select group of Pokemon trainers at a special gathering. We're hosted by my master, the world's greatest Pokemon trainer. It is Palace on New Island. It is the movie. Okay. No, we're not going to make room for a gloom. We're going to... M Mewtwo Strikes Back. Char a chartered fairy will leave from Old Shore Wharf to take you to the fairy type Pokemon don't exist yet now either of them. <laughs> this afternoon. Only trainers who present this invitation will be admitted. If you decide to attend you must decide at what? If you decide to attend you must decide at once. My master awaits you. They're not asking if you would like to attend. Yes. Wouldn't 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 pass up that opportunity for anything. Oh, yes, and of course it immediately starts thundering. Because we're going to have to, yeah, presumably travel to... Oh, there is a Pokemon Centre. Where the Nurse Joy is probably not going to be there. <laughs> uh-huh. Can I still heal, though? Oh, I wanted to heal my Pokemon, but the Nurse isn't anywhere to be found. Can you do it? You can't. Well, bother. <laughs> Not that I think my Pokemon are in a bad state, but still. Yeah, cool, okay, yeah, we're going, we're doing the Pokemon movie. I don't know if there's any chance, well, we'll see, we'll see what happens. I don't know if there's any chance about, well, 
Well, yeah. Do we get to do do we get to battle Mewtwo? I don't think I've got any chance of winning, depending on what level he is. <laughs> Nothing to know about the ferry being cancelled. This could be the worst storm ever. A deadly storm like this happened long ago, killing all humans who braved the ocean. Legend says that in their sorrow, the water of the Pokemon's tears somehow restored the lives lost in the storm. Yeah, try and explain away the revival of Ash however you want. Still garbage. <laughs> but tears aren't going to save you if you try to venture into this storm now. If you try that and your Pokemon got hurt, you'd be out of luck because the Pokemon Center has been closed. The nurse in charge of the Center disappeared last month. If you see her, please let me know. I'm sorry, but the ferry is not running due to the inclement weather. So we're going to have to sail there, are we? The waves are crashing and the current is extremely powerful. Your only way to get to New Island is to use the raft, though. Would I like to use the raft? Yes, well, we'll give it a try. And we'll immediately... This is the. This is an ocean, is it? <laughs> right next to this wharf here. The ocean... <laughs> you haven't even gone anywhere yet. The ocean is too rough. Ash's raft has splintered to pieces. Ash was consumed by the waves. Well, that's a bit dark. <laughs> oh, underwater. Ash grabbed onto the back of Squirtle and began to swim. Nice. Okay, and we've actually got Pokemon here to battle, if I so wish. Well, I guess it beats, um... Well... Yeah. <laughs> Might as well battle, I suppose. Okay, that's a dead end, but there's an item there. I do want to save some of these moves, though, so I do wonder whether I can just get away with... Like, a Thunderbolt I've used quite a bit now, so I do wonder if I can get away with just return for a few goes. Again, seems like a piddly little amount of experience. Pearl, nice. Um, for, you know, almost level... You know, around level 40 Pokémon here with... Okay, that one's a bit... A bit weaker, but still, only a couple of hundred experience points. Alright, let's go the other let's go the other way this time. That I will probably take out with Thunderbolt, however though, because I don't fancy messing around with it. Are you and Horsey you're happy to deal with? Let's just get rid of Cedra as uh, quick as possible. I guess it's Kingdra that's actually probably the real, real... Or it would be a real, real annoyance, but he's probably not going to... Well, yeah, if we're talking Gen 1 here, then it's not going to happen. Turn his power enough to take out the star you and the horses. Dang it. It's a red path. I don't know which way to go. There's going to be somewhere for me to heal up and uh, yeah, restore moves and such like that. That's a dead end. Fine. At least it's a short dead end. A, is that the um oh wow okay it looked like there was I'll get rid of that as well I don't fancy um, mucking around with you um was that the, the an area that was just below was that the actual exit to this place it looks sort of like there was a kind of a faint light coming from it and only less than a thousand for a level almost level 50 dugong yes it must be the way out really Right, 
Let's grab my item, and we'll hopefully get out of here. A water stone, okay. I mean, I'm not going to use it during this playthrough, but that's a nice item to find. My master bids you welcome to New Island. Will you kindly present your invitation? Yes. No, I'm not the missing nurse. I've always dwelt on on I've always dwelt on this on this island and have always been in the service of my master. Please enter. Did you heal me? You did not. Can I actually go anywhere else? Okay, no, it just looks like it's uh fine, nowhere else to go. Uh, we'll head inside then. I'm looking forward to this. Not sure what I'm walking into. <laughs> the door shut and locked behind Ash. Wow, this is, uh, feels ominous. We've got whole bunches of Pokemon. Wigglytuff, Rapidash, Ninetales, Vileplume, Scyther, Hitmonlee, Venusaur, Sand Slash? I don't know about that one. Oh, Rhyhorn, okay. Well, probably just because I was facing the wrong way. Can I interact with the ones in the water as well? I see, like, Tentacruel and a Gyarados, I think. Vaporeon. Golduck. Nido, King or Queen. Can't quite tell from here. And we've got some trainers as well. And I'm just walking through the table here. <laughs> Pidgeot. Okay. Yes, well, if... Oh, we get to have some battles here. Okay, okay, so um, Mewtwo's not arrived yet. So we actually get some battles in here as well. Okay. Well, that's... Um... Oh my god, he's got six freaking Pokemon. Oh dear. I mean, I know I've got, like, a lot of healing items and such, but... That's going to be... I'm going to be using up a lot of moves here if we're going to have trainers who've got, you know, lots of Pokemon to have to battle. And another flipping miracle. Another two-hitter with a multi-attack move. Time for me to buy a lottery ticket, I think. Yeek. Running low on Thunderbolts. I think if there are any water ones coming up now, then I will definitely use Bulbasaur. Assuming there are more trainers here that um, actually will uh, will battle, but I don't see why if this one um, is wouldn't then uh, yeah, or this one the fact that this one is I don't see why this one some other ones wouldn't. Uh, no, I'm fine. Keeping Pidgeotto in, I guess. Yeah, and again, I'll use I'll use the flying weakness rather than the uh, the uh, sorry the bug weakness rather than the flying weakness. Source dance is absolutely fine with me. All the sort. I think you've only got two left. Have you? Or have you still got three left? No. Bulbasaur's actually running out as well now. I mean, I know I've got a lot more grass-type moves I could use, but, um... Okay, I might use a Giga Drain there. 
Or is it worth... No, I don't think it's worth it, actually. I don't think it's worth it, because I don't think I'm going to get much health back from doing it. I want to use Giga Drain when I'm going to be draining a lot of health. Uh... Yep, ideally Charizard, but Pidgeotto is a pretty good replacement. Not knocking them out in one hit, though. It's all uh, the tiniest bit disappointing. Cool. All right, evolution to cancel. You. you haven't met my Pokemon yet. Allow me to introduce you. Well, you could have just introduced without having to without having to have a battle, you know. If you just heard, hey, here, I've used three double blast dice there. Six more. You could have just said, well, yeah, here's my blast dice. Shell shocker, wasn't it? That was the name of your blast dice in the in the movie. No, 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 no. Well, actually, it's probably not going to cost me too much. I'll just use the uh, Pokey Flute. So, it's just a waste of a move, frankly. So, yeah, you've used Sing. I don't have to use an Awakening or anything like that. I'm just going to, yeah. We'll just uh, keep playing around until uh, you don't use a move that put, you don't use Sing and put me to, that puts me to sleep. Yeah, the, the, I'm sure the Blastoise was called Shell Shocker and the Venus guy's Venusaur was called... Like vroom vroom or something like that. <laughs> I've got that wrong. No, I don't want to do anything like that. I've got that wrong now. But I think that was, uh, I think that's what it was called. And of course, Ash's Charizard didn't have a silly name. But um... Just in case you know any moves that could be irritating to Pikachu, I'll switch in Squirtle. I'm not optimistic though that a Bubble Beam is gonna. Oh, I'm slower as well. And Fire Spin is not a good, not a nice move that I want to be seeing. Oh, it did take it out. Oh, with a critical hit, though. Okay. Right, well, whatever happens here, I'm going to get Squirtle out of the uh, the fire spin. And I would take you out there, definitely. <laughs> anyway. But, uh, yeah, let's get you out of the fire spin. But, yeah, if it had been something that water would have been very good at, then I pretty much would have just used um, Bulbasaur instead. Since they've got a lot of the same... Or they could affect it against a lot of the same types. Nothing poisony or paralyzing. Okay. I'm fine with that. <laughs> Bit of a silly move to use when you're not. Well, yeah, in, in that in that in that current state, wasn't it? Um. What do I have that's good against ice? Fighting, I guess. Apart from the obvious fire that I, I'm not going to risk. <laughs> oh, electric against water, I suppose as well, actually. Mm. All right, yeah. Well, I think what we'll do is we'll battle the train, finish battling the trainers here, and then we'll probably I will I will switch Pikachu out actually, put Bulbasaur in, and then we'll Giga Drain Blast once because that will do mega damage. I think we'll battle the trainers here, assuming you'll let me do that before uh, Mewtwo, assumedly, makes his appearance. Um, 
and then that'll be the video. We'll save uh, we'll save uh, any encounter with Mewtwo for next time. I'll have to do that in a moment. Okay, they're both at 53 now. Well, I mean, I've, Squirtle's had the experience share. Rapidash is going to be bloody quick, isn't he? Let's try Pikachu instead. Yeah, I guess Squirtle's had the experience share on for when we're when we well, I'm battling, you know, like top top notch Pokemon here. So uh, yeah, he's going to get the experience a lot quicker. Quick attack would be lovely. Okay, so if it doesn't knock you out, I'm going to take a hit. That might take you down, mightn't it? Yep. Seems a bit of a silly move to use, but oh well. <laughs> Cancel the evolution. Now, are you another? Yeah, are you another trainer. I'm going to. I'm going to do some healing here. Uh, where are my super potions? It's probably only Pikachu, to be honest, that probably needs a couple or so. I'll leave the other ones. I mean, I know obviously taken some damage, but. Um, Probably just use a potion actually on the Pikachu rather well, than a super potion now. I guess I could use some potions on the others as well for twenty. Yeah, that'll do. I'll, I'll that that well, yeah, that will work. I'll uh, do one on Pidgeotto certainly, and I'll do one on Bulbasaur. Cool, bit more healthy now. Right over on Gyarados is back. Okay, yep. So we do have another one. Have you got six as well? Yep, okay. Sounds like you've got a lot of water Pokemon as well, so given rather than switching out straight off, I'll use Thunderbolt initially. And then we'll switch to Bulbasaur. Assuming you've got a lot of Water Pokemon. Looks like. I'm going to say Bulbasaur's not got a huge amount of grass moves either. I'm a bit disappointed. There's yeah, there's no there's no way I'm going to be able to. Oh wow, you're quicker than me. And uh, Bulbasaur will. Actually, no, he's grass poison as well, isn't he? So poison won't have near, anywhere near the amount of uh, problems I thought it might do. Uh, again, let's save that. I think he's taken enough damage to warrant to, to justify a Giga Drain at this point in time. Yeah, I'm going to be low on moves, particularly for uh, Pikachu and Bulbasaur here. I think the others are... Um, Pidgeotto and Squirtle, I think, are fine, but... Um, yeah, Pikachu and Bulbasaur are in a bit of a fix. So I'm almost tempted to use... Yeah, great, but it wasn't a knockout. I'm almost tempted to use, like... Uh, really? Solar Beam. Yep, looks like normal service has been resumed. At some point in time, just just some almost a point of view of not using C Bomb and Giga Drain just to give myself actually some them as moves that I can use later on. As long as you don't know any ice moves, I should should be okay. I'm 
Okay, good. Critical hit. Nice. Okay. We'll put Squirtle in for you. Don't poison me and we'll be fine. <laughs> Make me flinch and we'll be fine. <laughs> Why well, I couldn't have had that for the first time I attacked Nina Queen, I don't know. Mm. I'm going to put Pidgeotto into bat there, I think. The problem with Pikachu is I, I'm. I mean, I've got a cream Gyarados, but I'd only have one Thunderbolt left, so it's probably not really enough for him to have just generally, but I guess I would like to yeah, at least leave him with one Thunderbolt that he could hopefully use in a pinch. Mm. Probably that one, I suppose. Oh, okay, that's nice. <laughs> fussed about in the rear. At least at the moment. As long as you don't hydro pump me to death. You're probably going to be left with just the tiniest little bit of HP. And it missed, thank goodness for that. Yeah, that would have been interesting. Particularly since it's now powered up thanks to the rain dance. The Pidgeotto got to level up at the end of the video. Nice. Which we'll cancel the evolution on. Okay. Yeah, let's not do... I don't want to go too much further in case there's like... I, I assume there are no more... Okay, there's a. Probably have to speak to the Nurse Joy to trigger the next, the uh, the uh, what's coming next. So uh, yeah, we'll leave that for now. Hopefully, you're going to heal me. That would be lovely. Um, but um, yeah, this video has gone on for almost 50 minutes or so. We've got um, yeah, we've we yeah, spent a bit of time going through some of the uh, a couple of episodes of the anime, but we've actually spent most of our time in um, the first movie, uh, Mewtwo Strikes Max. So um, lovely. Defeated, defeated the trainers, got some, you know, six, obviously six Pokemon each there, so, you know, 18 fairly high-level Pokemon in this place, so some excellent ex experience that we've got there as well, so, um, yeah, wonderful. And I'll uh, encounter Mewtwo, I'm assuming, next time. Hope to see you for that, but until then, cheerio.